common misunderstandings about Ripple and XRP. Many people get confused in Ripple and XRP, because why not? They share the same origins and same names are related to both. But there is a difference in Ripple and XRP. Confusion often exists about Ripple because, a bit like Bitcoin, which has both a network and a coin with the same name, there is both a Ripple Payments Network and a native coin or cryptocurrency, XRP, which people also refer to as Ripple. However, apart from this, there are many misconceptions related to XRP and Ripple, but don't worry because I'm going to clear the confusion. Hey guys, and welcome back to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where we give you information about investing in crypto. Please like and subscribe if you are new here to get everything you need to know about cryptocurrencies. At the end of this video, your confusions will be cleared about Ripple and XRP. You will learn what is XRP and Ripple and what is the difference between the two. So without any further delay, let's get started. To clear the misunderstandings, first we should know what actually is Ripple and XRP. What is Ripple? First and foremost, Ripple is a real-time gross settlement system, currency exchange, and reminiscence network developed by Ripple Labs Incorporated. Ripple Labs Incorporated is a payment protocol and open source protocol which includes the Ripple Consensus Ledger, or RCL, and RippleNet, a suite of payment solution products marketed to banks, non-financial institutions, and digital currency exchanges. Originally named OpenCoin and renamed Ripple Labs in 2015, the company was founded in 2012 and is based in San Francisco, California. What is XRP? Guys, now that Ripple's consensus ledger employs the native cryptocurrency known as XRP, it is used for facilitating the transfer of money between different currencies across the network. Now guys, XRP is the digital asset of Ripple. Though Ripple has differed from other cryptocurrencies in a number of ways, but in one way, it remains similar. That is, a finite amount of XRP is created, and that is all there ever will be. In the case of XRP, 100 billion exist, 60% of which are owned by Ripple. The difference between Ripple and XRP As you guys now have an idea about what Ripple and XRP is, now to clear the common misunderstanding. Let's make a comparison between the two. There is not necessarily a direct correlation between the value of Ripple as a business or its proprietary payment network and the price of XRP as a digital asset. Nevertheless, their fortunes are intertwined in many ways, especially since Ripple Labs owns a large number of XRP tokens. Ripple is a technology company that provides the most efficient solutions for sending money globally while XRP is an independent digital asset. The XRP ledger is the open source blockchain technology behind it. The relation between the two is that Ripple is a software company that uses XRP and the XRP ledger in its product, XRapid. It does not control the digital asset or technology. Ripple does own 60 billion XRP and the XRP ledger cannot be owned by any single entity. That is, it exists independent of any one person or business, including Ripple. The Ripple is controlled by its boards, founders, and employees, whether it succeeds or fails, while the success and failure of XRP is controlled by the community who deal in XRP, uses the technology, or generally contributes the XRP or the XRP ledger. Ripple products are used by the financial institutions while anyone can use XRP, build on the XRP ledger, or list XRP on their exchange. Ripple is owned by its own founders, investors, and employees who hold stock in Ripple while XRP can be owned by anyone. Misunderstandings about Ripple and XRP Apart from misunderstandings between Ripple and XRP, people often get many confusions or misunderstandings about Ripple and XRP. In this section, these misunderstandings will be addressed and cleared. XRP has a lot of hidden fees. Using the XRP ledger has a cost, or fee, and in most cases, you decide for yourself how big the cost is, above the minimum fee, which is 0.00001 XRP. The size of the fee determines how the transaction is prioritized by the validators, so a higher fee than a minimum will guarantee a faster transaction. Unlike other blockchains, the fee is neither returned to a central authority or paid as a reward to the validators, but is burned, making XRP a deflationary currency. Some also refer to a fee for creating accounts on the ledger, but is mistaking fees from reserves. Both fees and reserves are implemented in the ledger to protect it from spam, malicious use, and denial of service attacks, that is. Reserves are an amount of XRP you lock in return of owning an object on the ledger. It is always possible to see a remaining amount of XRP available, as this is summed and included in every closed ledger. 
XRP is too volatile. Banks won't hold it. XRP is volatile like other cryptocurrencies. Fiat is volatile too over longer periods of time. There is no need for banks to hold XRP as XRapid does not work by holding XRP, but by buying and selling it in a shorter period of time as possible. An average XRapid payment takes minutes, so the window of volatility is minimal. The short window is made possible by the speed XRP can settle on the XRP ledger that is currently scaling to about 1,500 transactions per second, closing a new ledger every four seconds. The only reason for banks to hold XRP would be to participate as an exchange service between XRP and fiat. There's no need for XRP when central banks issue digital currencies. A central bank digital currency is also a stablecoin, but instead of trusting a third party, the trust is placed with the same issuer as the fiat is pegged to. Whether any stablecoin is a good alternative to XRP for settlement depends on the same parameters as fiat. Is the corridor liquid? Or in other words, are there market makers and takers enough on ends of the transaction? CBDCs will essentially be the same financial model of the current systems. It is merely the digital equivalent of a paper financial instrument. Ripple created and issues the XRP. Arthur Brito, Jed McClave, and David Schwartz formed a team with a developer named Brian Fugger, who developed a payment protocol and decentralized platform. They together worked on what we know today as XRP. To ensure the sustainability of the company, the founders decided to donate XRP to the company OpenCoin, while also keeping a share for themselves. With the share of 80 billion XRP to the company, Jed McClabe, 9 billion, Chris Larson, 7 billion, and 4 billion to the other founders. Whether Ripple issued XRP is at best a blur. The XRP ledger was developed before the company was formed. Ripple's revenue model is XRP. If the revenue model is pumping XRP and existing, they would first have to solve the issue of pumping and dumping on the market, which is unrealistic due to selling clauses and price manipulation problematics. So for Ripple to successfully increase the price of XRP, they have to build products that either appear to work and sell the world a lie, or actually build products that work and let the price of XRP increase by utility. It is a knife edge for Ripple. The only way for Ripple to succeed by owning the large portion of XRP is by making XRP valuable in the free market without controlling it. But this setting makes it impossible. XRP is not a real cryptocurrency. To understand this very misunderstanding statement, first we should know that what actually is a cryptocurrency. So according to cryptocurrency definition on Wikipedia, the XRP fulfills the requirements to be called a cryptocurrency. We can surmise the definition in these. Encryption techniques to verify transactions or cryptography, decentralized system, no central issuing or regulating authority. All of these apply to XRP. XRP Ledger is using a consensus mechanism and there are no rewards for participants. So it is a real cryptocurrency. Ripple can print more XRP. Since the XRP Ledger first started in January 2013, more than 45 million ledgers have been closed successfully. The ledger was born with 100 billion XRP and it is hard coded into the software. There are no current methods or functionality to add XRP in the code. So if for any reason new XRP should be printed, it would require a major code change and adaptation on the complete network of XRP validators. Since the ledger is decentralized, no single authority can decide to do this, as with any other decentralized blockchain. Ripple controls the market price of XRP. As Ripple holds a majority of XRP, 60%, it is a natural part of the revenue model. Although the majority stake, the large amount of XRP is not accessible to the company on a regular terms. They are locked in escrow with 1 billion released every month. The way to increase the price of any currency is to buy it from the market and create a pump effect and continuously keep on buying to sustain the price. But there are harvesting problems in doing so. It is more likely that XRP's market price is influenced by market speculation, adaptation, utility products by Ripple, and other companies building products in the XRP ecosystem. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help for you. Now that you know the differences between XRP and Ripple and your misunderstandings about the two would have been cleared. So now, do you think of investing in XRP? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to click the bell icon. And thanks for watching.